Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Giva Somena and this is GML. Today, my guest is Shaban Natembea. And we are analyzing politics as they unfold. The NASA, National Super Alliance, announced their flag, presidential flag bearer, Raila Odinga, and his deputy, Kalonzo Musioka. And then on the other side, Musale Mudavadi is something like a prime minister. They call it a premier of CS and two deputies, Musalia Mudavadi. And of course, one Isaac Ruto of Chama Chamashinani. Or oh, is it Chama Chamapinduzi? Yeah. No, Chama, Chama Chamashinani. Chama Was it a surprise to Kenyans? Were Kenyans are disappointed? Were Kenyans are surprised? Were they happy? We don't know. We are finding out. And of course, the Jubilee primaries. And of course, the NASA or ODM or wiper primaries, the, of course, it's like they have come to, to the end. Sonko in Nairobi, did he beat Kenneth? And much more. Welcome, Chaban. Thanks. Let's go on. We start with Rayla Odinga. He's going to face it head collision with Uhuru Kenyatta. This is a repeat of 2013, is it? Yeah, it's a repeat, but not repeat at all. Because considering now the battalion that was there in 2013, we did not have the likes of Isaac Ruto, and also we did not have one Mudavadi in the equation. So telling Kenyans that it is a repeat of 2013, that's not the truth. But, but what is Isaac Ruto coming to NASA? Is he going to help anything, anything at all? And uh, Isaac Ruto would have to bring a lot of change, regardless of this speculation that he brings nothing on the table. Why? Because remember, uh, when, when Isaac Ruto joined this coalition, this means that he has now to present. I think what he does is to bring now the image. Remember the different story with the other duo. Here he talks about Uhuru and, and one, one Ruto. They represent, it's like they represent only the two communities. So when we consider now the, uh, the Pentagon part in the NASA coalition, whereby we have about five people. This, it, it means they represent more communities as compared to what happens in the Jubilee. Not only that, also Ruto tries to benefit the community that he comes from. There I talk about the Kalenji because he tried to say if whichever, whichever coalition will become now the tenant of the state house, Kalenji as a community will have to benefit. Here I mean if, for example, NASA will be the one to become the tenant of the state house after the uh, forthcoming election. It means the college will have also a slice of the national cake. And the, the same narrative also... What do you mean? What do you mean? You mean that currently the Kalenjins have nothing in the government. They do have a big share. DP is Will the, the DP here is William Ruto. And that's a big share. Much more, bigger than the CS. Yeah, I have seen, no wonder I've said, remember in the election, the either participant, they stand either to lose or to win. So even if they, they are the one who are now in the government, doesn't mean in the forthcoming election they stand at a good chance to retain their power. Le they can also lose. Let, let us remember that. Let's leave that. Let's go back to Raila before we come back to Kinawe Tangula and, and, the, and the rest. Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka, what are they bringing on the table? Do you think that will change from 2013? Yeah, of course, let's change. look at the two first. Let's look at the, the, uh, at the two. Did Kenyans want Raila Odinga to come again? And of course, by Kalo and Kalonzo. Do, do you think Kenyans were disappointed or they wanted a fresh blood? No, I think Kenyans didn't disappointed. They were not uh, disappointed because of that. Because from where I sit, I think before they, they were in a position to unfold now their flag bearer, they had sat on the table and they discuss a number of factors. I think when it comes not to issues to do with the resources, the network, they are here, I talk about the international networks. I think Raila is the best bet. Because remember, presidential election is one of very expensive elections you can ever do in this nation. So when we try to consider the other four gentlemen, I think Raila becomes the person with the strongest, not only political muscle, but also financial muscle. The gentleman. We know that. We know that. Of course, Raila has a big muscle. But was that the expectations of Kenyans? You saw the, thro the throngs of people in Hurupa. So many, so many. I, I think they, they, were, they were, maybe they were waiting for a surprise, for a major announcement. 
only to hear it's Raila Odinga again. No, I think people knew it very well that Raila will be announced to be the next flag bearer of the opposition outfit. So perhaps they no waited for Musalia. A large number because they were really ready to glorify their leader. Perhaps it was. Perhaps they wanted Musalia. No, that's or Kalonzo. Remember, all of them they represented the different communities, and considering considering also their political experience both of them they have the equal chance but remember when it comes to personalities the resources and also the international networks i think raila uh, carries the day so uh, he has should not fool fool the kenyans that people are not uh, they were did not expect for him to be announced he was the best bet of course he has the, the networks he has the resources and he's going to remain with the networks and the resources even after after he quits a politics but do you think just that is the only reason where where, where Raila Odinga has to be the flag bearer okay there were some of the factors as i've told you earlier which were presented on the table so i think they discussed about them they added and subtracted and finally they they agreed that let them present to Raila Molo Odinga to be their captain so oh, i don't see oh, a problem in that oh do you think maybe Raila Odinga cornered the rest the the, 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 the gentlemen maybe nothing he cornered like, them nothing like and he said cornered. look remember after the 12 man committee had discussed about the best pair it presented uh, their recommendation to them so it was up to them as the principals now to have a close committee to discuss to dissect all the issues about their the best look pair. here and so we cannot say he cornered them i think what he did he presented there uh, uh, i am trying to look at you they unfolded all the issues that could give them a win spare the pair which will take them to the state look here. they are not there to lose that is the discussion and they have never done the research as odm or as nasa but there was an organization that said look here we've done the polls we've done the research and the best pair here happens to be kalonzo and mudavadi and they said that clear that a combination of kalonzo and mudavadi could beat Raila Uhuru Kenyatta no, very easily. I would like you to, to, to name if possible the name of this company that did this research because gone are days when you used to give a lot of credit to the so-called pollsters because you can see even to the, to the concluded nominations. Things are happening differently from what the so-called pollster used to tell us. Look at the, the, likes, the, li the likes of Kabogo. The pollster showed what? That he was the best. But here we can see the magic that 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 one YT to beat him with so we should not keep on glorifying and depending only on the news that comes from these uh, pollsters because i think they are being funded by a few individuals so and there's some other columnists who have written it they have said that you see like it's nasa nasa, NASA is like it's an odmo affair and this and he says that nasa look here nasa it's a b they better fail with Rela Odinga than win with the Musale Mudavad. No, remember, NASA is being formed by individual parties. So inclusive of the party of one, Isaac Ruto, that's Chama Chamashinani. Remember, all these parties, they are there to present, uh, to present for their ideologies and also to try to cater for the welfare of their supporters. So ODM trying to come up as a very strongest party, I think I don't see any problem with that. Because remember, uh, politics is all about power. You have to, do, to try to prove to your op opponent that you are the best bet. So uh, what you talk about the columnists, remember we are all opinionated, considering the vibrant constitution that we got back in 2020, 2010. So it gives all the citizens a chance to talk about their interests. So we should not just dwell on them. Now look here. Now let's go to Kalonzo. Let's, fit, let's say it clearly. Mm -hmm. Let's be frank. Kalonzo looked disappointed yesterday in that rally. He looked disappointed. It was clear on his face. No. You know, that's speculation. I think no, we saw it. No, you didn't saw it. Yeah, I, because I, saw I think it. what was there clearly, all these other four principles, they had agreed. And no, no wonder I'm telling you, they had a close door meeting and they discussed. So remember, we only have, we only need one tenant of the state house. And Musale so, Mudavadi said it clearly that look here, Karibu Tushikane Mashati. That's what he said in Kiswahili. It was the best. I think what remember what these people are trying to do, it was very hard for them to let one of them to become the flag bearer, keeping in mind the pressure back at their villages. So the the individual village the individual communities where these people are coming from, all of them they saw as if this was their time. 
So it was very hard to try to convince them. So what uh, Mdavadi was trying to tell people, uh, his people, it was that. It was not very easy for us to decide Raila was the man to go. And that's why he said it cost us a lot. And that's why you, you, are, you are valued that we, they are almost kushikana mashati. In other words, they said they had come from far before they had agreed on. But are you saying Kalonzo was not disappointed? But look here, he never even smiled. He never even smiled. You saw that. He never smiled. No, it depends. Remember, in communication, we say we communicate in different ways. Sometimes you can smile and yet inside you are not happy. And sometimes you may present a dull drum face, yet inside you are so happy. So we should not just focus on, on his face only. There are so many issues. But I think from his speech, it was very clear that he was agreeing with what the principles had agreed. So let's give them time. Remember politics is dynamic. Let's give them time and see what they have really prepared And now look here. Look, look at their supporters now. You know, let's be clear, you know, let's be sincere, mm -hmm. the Nyanza region. You know, some of them had said, like, like, look here, if it's not Baba, then we're not voting. We better vote for Jubilee. It had to be Baba. It had to be. Not because of, remember, uh, about, about the Kenyan politics. Kenyan politics, just like any other politics of any other part of the world, whereby some individuals would think, that they are more superior than others. But that one does not mean we cannot now, we cannot persevere with the views of others. So what, uh, what are the, like for instance, what you have talked about the people from Nyanza and also the other day we had the likes of Nyanza talking about that if, if it was not Raila, then we are ready to, to pack and leave. So those are the narrative that we have to expect because without showing that one, that could say they were not even ready to be in politics. Politics is all about Powers but do sense. you think if they chose maybe Musalia or Kalonzo, mm -hmm. do you think the Nyanza region and Raila supporters would vote for him? I'm sure they would vote for him. Would vote for Kalonzo? They would or vote for, for whoever would be given the flag there. But they said, but some of them were saying, it's no, remember, even on TV. No, those were just the opinions of few. Sometimes you people, especially you people in media, you try to fool us. If you get the opinions of two or three people, you assume that that one is an idea that has been presented by the entire community. How, those are just opinions of you. How about the Kamba community? Do, do you think they are going just to come? Are they comfortable? Do you think they're just comfortable with, you know, you know being a deputy president? I they had it. Kalonzo has been a vice president. Are they satisfied with it? Yeah, remember, it is true that uh, Kalonzo has ever been the vice president. But we have to acknowledge the difference that exists between the new constitution and the older one. The new constitution, a vice president was just a flower girl. The, the narrative is different from the new constitution. So I think Raila or Kalonzo coming back as the deputy president, it's a beautiful docket as compared to the older one. Do you think the there's, there's a difference? There's a very I think it's only unless, the name. unless you are an ignorant, you have not gone through the new dispensation of the new constitution. The constitution now it's very clear. Remember. The DP, no wonder he's not being appointed by the president. So he's not an appointee of the president, but he has to be elected by the people. So therefore, he's the second in command in the, in the nation. So it's a very powerful docket as compared to, to the defunct, the docket of the VC. Now, are you saying that the legs of Nyenze, now, the, you know, Kalonzo will convince uh, his people that, look here, I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. My supporters, you know, look here, we are comfortable, let's go for it. So, yeah, that's true. Remember, in our Kenyan politics, we do give a lot of attention to our so-called leaders. So, whatever your leader decides, and even you can remember about the post-election violence back in 2007, immediately when the, leader, when the leaders came together after signing now an agreement to have a grand coalition, that's when, it's when all the mahim that were taking place, they were pulled down. So, in other words, I'm trying to say, leaders have a lot of influence. So, if Kalonzo has agreed really to work with what the, the principles of NASA have given him, I think he has the muscle to go back to his village and convince all his supporters that let's march in this path. Now look here, Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka, they believed that look here, they, they beat, um, you know, Raila Odinga believes he beat Mwai Kibaki, mm -hmm. and he believes that. Yep. And then you look here, 2013, they also, you know, they, there was no, there was no uh, bigger margin between him and, and Uhuru Kenyatta. Not mm -hmm. big, mm -hmm. maybe ar around 800,000. Yep. 
almost a million, but not too large. Uh -huh. Do you think Raila Odinga is going to pull the crowd like he did in 2013? Yeah, Raila still has a chance to pull the crowd as what he has been doing in the past. Because remember, Raila is a cunning politician, unless people are very ignorant. But he's a man who knows on how to capture the attention of the public. Even you can remember yesterday, during the, the rally that was taking place at the Huru Park, you can remember the myriads of people who attended that function. So we should not take it for granted. So from where I sit, I still, he still has a chance to do what he has been doing in the past. No wonder, remember for the last four years, uh, after the election of 2013, Raila did not have an official office. But people still have been calling him a leader. So imagine if he could manage to, to influence such a, uh, such a very highest population without having an office. Now it is clear that many people are ready to support him. Remember, there are people like, for example, I've told about the, the Mdava de facto. Mdava in the last election had a lot of votes, so we should not take, he, take his inclusions to this equation for, for Joe. Because that one, it's a boost. It will be a boost to the basket of the NASA, uh, the NASA vote. So in other words, I'm trying to say he still has the gut to go on and influence the public, just the way he did back in 2007. But what is the difference? What is the difference? Because, you know, look here. In 2013, uh -huh. Musale Mudavad, you know, he won, Raila Odinga won in Western region. Yeah. He won. Yeah. He beat Jubilee. Yeah. What is going to be the difference? It is still the same. Yeah, it is the same. We cannot say it is the same. When you get back to the politics from Oxford, Advanced Oxford Dictionary, it clearly says that politics, it's very dynamic. It changes. So we cannot say that the numbers that were just there in 2013 or even that to those who are, that were there in 2007 are intact. No. Things change in the world of politics, so we cannot say just because he has been losing, others are calling him a perennial loser. Although those are people who are just ignorant because politics changes. As the things change, also politics, people are taking different shapes depending with what is happening, either economically, politically, socially. So uh, let's expect also more changes as far as the Raila man is concerned. Are we going to be surprised come August of come 8th of August this year. Are we going to be, you know, are we going to be surprised? Are we, is it going to be like the US where, you know, they expected Hillary, even the polls, you know, look at, they showed Hillary was on top of the game. And it, it, all of a sudden, things were upside down. And it was Trump after the break. Give us a minor live takes a short break. We're going to come back and talk even much more. Rila Odinga, Musale Mudavadi. Prime Minister, are these positions ever going to be there? Are they even in the Constitution? What are they, what are they even talking about after the break? <laughs>